Hi everyone, welcome to the Free Range Diva. You know, the beginning of the year is the perfect time to go through and throw out the garbage from the year before. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. It's trash day, so let's get started. Oh boy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do this in no particular order. I'm just gonna start going through this, yeah, basket. Stop swallowing, hold on. Just gonna start going through this basket and uh, talking about what I liked and what I didn't. Okay, this is a facial moisturizer from Christina Moss. And I use this all during the summer into the fall. It's a very lightweight moisturizer, has a little bit of a lavender scent. And uh, it was great during the summer, but then as the weather changed and my skin started getting a little bit drier, I needed something else. Deodorant, this is the third or fourth tube of the Zion Health Clay Dry Deodorant. Um, this is their cedar fragrance. As you can see, I use all of it. And the best deodorant I've ever used in terms of keeping you dry and odor free and being very natural and good for your skin. This does have a, a little bit of baking soda in it, but I have not had a problem uh, with the baking soda. So great product. I've talked about them a lot. From Skin Diva, their um, hydrating anti-aging infusion spray. Uh, this is a great toner. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It's got a great price point. This is my second or third bottle of it. And um, we'll probably repurchase. I've got some toners now that I'm loving, but at some point I know I'm gonna come back to this. Thayer's Witch Hazel uh, with the rose petal scent. Meh. I mean, I don't need my witch hazel to smell like rose petals. This is very gentle, and I think if you want to use witch hazel as a toner, where you know to to take off, uh, let's say after you've oil cleansed, and you want to put a little toner on a cotton pad to remove any you know makeup that might have gotten missed, uh, this would be really good to do that to give yourself um, you know a little extra layer of clean. But otherwise, regular I just use regular old witch hazel. That's fine. Multiple purchases, uh, the Zion Health Scalp and Hair Scrub. I'm on my third one, maybe? This leaves my hair very silky. It gets rid of frizz. It gives it a really great clean. I use this, I wash my hair twice, and this is the second uh, cleansing that I, that I use on it. And I love it. At one point, I thought, I might be allergic to it because I was bothered by some rashes on the back of my neck, so I stopped for like a week, and my hair looked horrible. Thank God the rash did not go away. It was, you know, just stress, I think. But point is, love my Zion Health hair scrub. This, by the way, is what happens when I just take the curlers out of my hair and don't comb it. <laughs> this is the Rose Cleansing Milk from Evan Healy, and uh, it's a very nice, um, milky cleanser, uh, cream cleanser type of product. I really am not into them, but this did a decent job of getting my skin clean. It has a light rose scent. Not something I'd repurchase, but you know, if you are looking for a, a nice milky cleanser, a creamy kind of cleanser, um, you know, I can say certainly give this a try. Uh, all right, from Bybee Botanical, the Bakuchiol Booster. No, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that, but uh, it has 1% Bakuchiol in a hot, in a, um, squalane serum, and uh, it just didn't do anything. I mean, now that I'm back on my Herbivore Botanicals Bakuchiol, I definitely can see that it just, it didn't even out my skin the way that does. It didn't give me the exfoliation, exfoliating properties. Maybe it didn't hurt, but yeah, it was kind of sad that this did not work better. I think part of it is that the squalane um, is just straight up squalane and it really didn't penetrate my skin that well. It was just very heavy and very oily. <laughs> We're on a roll here with the wish they work better but didn't products. This is from, this is the natural peptide serum from Jen Amber Beauty and it was okay. I mean I did not notice any particular difference in terms of of um, you know keeping wrinkles from in fact i think i got a few more while i was using this 
Uh, I, I, um, you know, it's very, I would say that if you are younger and want to get started on peptides and you have oilier skin, this would definitely work for you. Um, it's, it's a very watery, almost kind of a mattifying um, type of product. That was a little bit much for me because my skin is normal to dry. So didn't, didn't, you know, it didn't really work that well for me, but again, might for you. Ah, uh, yes, from Hanua Skincare. This is their Ina mask. Loved it. Beautiful mask. I do, oh, whoops. I do, um, it has a, an unobtrusive fragrance to it. Um, I kind of like my Leolani mask better, mermaid mask better, but if you, this is a, a clay mask. So it has a little bit more drawing power than that one. And it also has a little bit of exfoliating granules in it as well. Just a beautiful formula. Hanua is a beautiful skincare company. So um, yeah, I really, really like this. This is the Moroccan Beauty Oil from Andalou Naturals. I actually, this is an argan oil blend uh, with a little bit of rose botanicals in it. And I use this on my hair actually because my hair really likes argan oil. And it's just they're from their 1000 Roses line. So it's a very lightweight product. Um, again, if you want an affordable argan oil product, check out Andalou. From Skin Diva, again, this is their 20% Argiraline with Matrixyl 3000 Anti Aging Peptide Serum. I have multiple bottles I have purchased of this. However, I started a new serum that I think I might like better, and it's a little bit better price point, so we'll see on that one. But if it doesn't, then I will definitely go back to my Skin Diva. This is probably bottle number four or five. From product, um, another product from Andalou, this is uh, their leave-in conditioner. It's supposed to be more of an anti-aging frizz type of, you know, anti-frizz for people with really dry hair uh, leave-in. However, um, once I stopped this and just started using straight up uh, argan oil, my hair looked a whole lot better. Yeah, I mean, it didn't, my hair just didn't didn't really need it and it kind of made it look worse for, for all intents and purposes. So um, again, if you have dry hair and you wanna try an affordable leave-in conditioner, I can highly recommend this because it's very, it's, it's their moisture rich line and it does have moisture, but maybe it had a little too much moisture for me or whatever, I don't know. Just didn't work that well for me, but might work well for you. This is from Keat Botanicals. This is their night serum. This is their restoring night serum. And I love it, absolutely love it. This is on my short list of maybe three full-size face oils that I want to get. One of the three, not all three. It is just a, a great, uh, either night and their day oil are both lovely. They um, have this beautiful kind of jasmine scent that is really intoxicating. Yes, it does have a little bit of a scent, but it's not heavy at all. It's very natural from the floral extracts that they use in their products. From Osmia. This is their Nectar Face Serum. This is also on that short list of uh, full-size face serums. This is really expensive though. However, it is a beautiful, does everything that you want a face oil to do. This one they call their Nectar Vital Rose Drops. And you can use this straight up as a face oil or if you have a face, face cream that you want to give a little more richness to, then put a few drops of it in a cream or lotion type product to give it a little bit more if you need more moisture. From Osmia, again, this is their Sunset Body Oil. This is, again, another multiple purchase. I have, I am in love with this scent. In fact, everything about me, who I am as a person, my likes, my dislikes, my personality, is in this freaking bottle. They have somehow managed to capture the pure essence of me, and I cannot get enough of this. I use it um, in my, after I get out of the shower, I'm still wet, and you just take a few pumps, rub it into your hands, and rub it into the skin so that it emulsifies with the remaining um, drops of water that are on your skin. And oh my God, it is just a beautiful experience. Yes, I have another one. I always will, as long as I can get my hands on it. I've really been using it up a lot during this winter. A makeup product mascara from Physicians Formula. This is from their Organic Wear line. This gives you lashes that are kind of 
very natural, basically your lashes, but maybe a teensy bit better. It's for a very, if you want a very natural looking lash, then I would consider this. If it's something you want to build up into something more dramatic, this won't do it for you. Okay, this is my uh, second bottle of Emotional Ally that I have gone through. Both me and my mother use this to sort of even out the mood, get, um, you know, give you a good night's sleep. I've talked about this to death, so... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a repurchase, and I will keep repurchasing it as long as it keeps working. From Perfect Hydrolyzed Collagen, my favorite <laughs> collagen product. Yeah, I use it every day. In fact, I got really nervous because the, bot, the uh, jar of this that I have now was late in getting here because of the mail, and so I was starting to panic a bit, but it did finally get here. And this is grass-fed. Uh, hydrolyzed collagen type 2 I believe these peptides you just put them in your hot beverages in the morning or really in whatever you want to that's what I do and then you know you're getting your collagen for the day this is the only collagen on the market that is certified glyphosate free and it has really done well for me one two Another product, this is, I found this through Social Nature, the sampling website that I participate in, that anyone can participate in if you want products that you can sample. This was a free product. I've since purchased one, two, three, four <laughs> more uh, to say that I love this is like, you know, it, this is their uh, wheatgrass pineapple and it's great. It gives you lo all those fresh greens. Oh, what, I didn't even tell you what this was. Sorry. This is from Garden of Flavor. This is their cold-pressed energy um, probiotic drink. This one is the green spirulina, pineapple, wheatgrass, um, as well as the probiotics in, you know, that are included in here. And I love it. I love it. I've purchased, obviously, a lot. And will continue to do so. It comes in four or five different flavors. Like I said, this one is the sort of uh, green wheatgrass, greenish one, but I've also, they also have one that's for energy that's their Aronia berry, which is very purple, and I love that one too. And finally, from Buddha Teas, this is their elderberry tea. Caffeine-free, must-have during cold and flu season. It's at all times. It's also very just soothing to drink. It's delicious, so... Yeah, gotta have elderberry tea. And that's it. Okay, everybody, that is going to wrap it up for today. If you enjoyed this video, then I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Love to have you, love to get to know you, and um, hit the notification bell so you won't miss my next video. All right, having said that, I will see you in that next video, and until I do, I'm wishing you a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Take good care of yourselves, and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye!